Hello, hola, bonjour, ni hao, konnichiwa, namaste, marhaba, shalom, shin chao. My name is Sunny and today I would like to share my experience about Casaloma, Toronto. Let's start with a little bit of history first. Casaloma itself, uh, the word itself is originated from Spanish. That means hill house or house on the hill. But to be honest, the one that suits better would be castle on the hill. But I can do better with the jokes. Uh, but to the contrary to its location, Castleoma is in Midtown Toronto. That's not the part of the Toronto that has all the hill stuff. Original built of Castleoma started in 1911, and it took three years to finish this magnificent piece of history. In addition to that, it costed 3.5 million dollars, and which, as per today's economy, is going to be 91.9 million Canadian dollars. Wow. So you must be thinking, so much money was spent. So it has to be the city of Toronto or government of Canada. But actually, it was a big financer by the name of Sir Henry Pallet, who was responsible for the construction of such a magnificent building, with the help of the architects Edward James Lennox, who later got responsible for uh, building more places in Toronto, like Old City Hall and much more. Now the question arises: Who was Sir Henry Pallet, and how he was able to afford all this? Well, Sir Henry Pallet was born in a British family in Kingston, Ontario. He was known to be a passionate romantic and a lover of military, especially Queen's Rifle. That can easily easily be witnessed when you actually go to Castle Loma, especially on the third floor. There's a full-fledged museum just on Queen's Rifle. In those days, Sir Henry Pallet is known to own an airline manufacturing company, a stock brokerage firm. He also served the military, and God knows what more. But these days, Casa is owned by City of Toronto, who not just takes care of 650,000 visitors a year, but also hosts 250 private events, which also includes movies, films, marriages, photo shoots, and some of the blockbusters movie like X Men were shot in it. Now let's dive in. It was a pleasant morning of December 9, 2023. My family was in town actually. And so me, my sister, my parents, and a friend who was visiting me that day from Ottawa decided to let's go and discover Castle Loma. In addition, there was a winter fest going on in Castle Loma, so there were a lot of exciting events taking place that day that I will get to in a minute. Firstly, since it was a Saturday morning, there was a huge rush of cars around the parking lot around Castle Loma itself. That it took me almost 15 to 20 minutes just to get to the parking lot from the first turn. Of Casa Loma, and in a normal day, it shouldn't take more than five minutes. Even five minutes, I think, is too much. So there are two parking lots when you get in the Casa Loma. First one is the ground floor, which one has, which one is a little bit bigger than the other one. Basically, feel free to park there. The second one is uh, on the second floor, which is an open parking lot. It has, I think, 20 to 30 spaces, and. Uh, I chose to park there since uh, the first one was full. Firstly, the second reason was I was planning to do something a little bit naughty that I'm gonna tell at the last. But I hope you like it. Though. Now, as soon as we entered the Casaloma estate, we were welcomed by two magnificent Ferraris. One was a yellow Ferrari 296 GTB 2021, and the other one was Ferrari Roma 2023. It was like half a million dollars for each of them. Well, I'm not there yet, but soon. Let's uh, get back to present, shall we? Uh, you enter through the corridor and you see there's magnificent woodwork around you, and there's a gorgeous lady standing in the middle of the corridor asking for tickets. Well, you need tickets to get inside. That's obvious. Uh, the good thing we had tickets, so we gave her the ticket. She handed over us, uh, handed over us the itinerary and a map to the castle. Uh, basically, the itinerary covered all the events those were taking place in castle that day. Now, as we exit the corridor. On the right of me, there's a stairway that goes to the upper floor. If I head straight, there's a big hallway that has a big, huge Christmas tree, and with a star on the top, decorated and everything. Right off the Christmas tree, there is a vintage piano that nobody's allowed to play, which is justified, of course. And uh, right off the piano, there's an old vintage Ferrari, tucked in the wrap so that nobody can see which one it is. But there's a huge Ferrari's logos around it, so you know there's a Ferrari inside. And I'm gonna tell you the Ferrari, but uh, by the end of the video. But there was a weird thing that I noticed in the hallway. I noticed that there was a silk sling that was just hanging from the chandelier. I just couldn't make out what it was for. 
uh, eventually are there and even there's a short video for it as well which I'm gonna include in the video that I'm making right now you're gonna enjoy it all right let's take a left turn and head to the stairway but to be honest that day I did not take a left turn I took a right turn because I was with my sister and my family and my sister is apparently my tour guide even though it's the first time she's been there but yeah we went through the corridor on my left side I see there was a big room as you can see the room is apparently a place where Mr. Pallet used to take this supper the room is full of silverware and everything as to be honest it looks like a king's palace uh, and the way it's designed Mr. Pallet was definitely a wealthy wealthy and a prosperous man for sure but let's head straight uh, you head straight you see there's a big hallway Apparently that day, there were a lot of performances taking place in the hallway, one of which uh, is gonna pop up in a bit. Now, in that one, there was a Disney princess who was performing, and uh, I don't know about that stuff at all, but I'll let you guys see, and you can tell me in the comment section that uh, who she was, or what was it about, is it like a Snow White or something, I, I don't know. But yeah, check it out, tell me in the comment section.
You are. Me, I'm an elf? I've always wanted to be an elf my entire life. Ever since my brother was born, I wanted to be an elf. <laughs> Were you guys able to figure out uh, what kind of princess she was? Or you were just like me, you know? All this stuff is foreign to me, to be honest. All right, so after Miss Disney Princess Sis performance was done, I took a reverse and when I saw on my right, it was a library for Casa Loma and there was a magic show going on. It was turning out to be a great day, to be honest. Uh, I sat on this chair silently, waited for the musician. It was basically for the kids. Uh, who were present in there so all of them were sitting in the front and we were sitting on the chairs at the back and uh, there were quite some performances they were really good i i'm adding some clips uh, uh, after this video check them out and tell me if you saw the magician before because i haven't seen him like i didn't see him before but when i wikipedia met him he was a popular guy so yeah enjoy the magic show let's see How do you like the magic show to be honest especially the last part where the girl was actually hovering was sick because i never saw that before in my life live like i've seen it on tvs and stuff but i was thought yeah, there's always going to be some platform or something holding the lady uh in mid-air but staying at the moment you couldn't see any everybody sitting there was stunned too like how, how is he doing it but it was good it was good it was quite a performance i'll give him that for sure now 
soon as the performance was done, we head back to the corridor, we went to the second floor. Now second floor I saw two gorgeous princesses. Now these were like not actual princesses, so it's not like Castle of has a king who has a daughter. No, nothing like that. Okay, don't worry, it's not an actual princess. They were like two gorgeous ladies dressed up as Disney princesses again. Maybe the, it was a theme going on in Castle of for Disney, whatever. But yeah, two gorgeous ladies. Okay, now I wanted to take a photo with them, you know, I don't know. I wanted to be like in the middle of two ladies, uh, two princesses around me, just, just for a photo, okay. Now, but I was too shy to actually ask them because I saw all the families and all the kids were actually going to them and getting photos done with them, but uh, uh, so I, I felt shy because I didn't want to look like a weird guy, you know, so I by the end I did manage to get some courage and I went to them, tried to talk to them but before I could reach to them, they just went to the changing room oh that's sad but it's fine, yeah, that's life you know, what are gonna do well I'm definitely gonna, I wasn't gonna knock on the door maybe I should have, yeah, it's too late now the princesses are gone Let's leave it. Okay, so we are on the second floor. Now, second floor is completely based on military, Canadian and British military uh, during that time. As you as you even walk on the floor, you will see the guns, uh, the, not just guns, actually the whole weaponry and uh, the attire, the uniforms, the caps, everything that was used in World War II and uh, even the war between Canada and U United States of America. Yes, they had a war. The Canada and United States of America had a war as most of the Canadians already know. I'll talk about that in some other video. But uh, yes, it's 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 a place to check it out. You you see the helmets with the dents on it. That means it was actually worn with a little bit of history note as well. That who wore it and who was a commanding officer and all that stuff. And even the uniforms that actually belonged to Sir Henry Pallet was there as well. Uh, also, if you walk through, there are different different cabins denoted different different wars that took place, and. Uh, also weapons and uh, the uniform and also the maps everything is placed there in just a beautiful way it's very informative it's actually if you like history if you like canadian history you should actually go and visit it's totally worth it all right so we are end of uh, my video for casa loma part one now if you like the video do check out for part two as well that i'll be releasing very soon so hold tight.